Wow, what a well-made drawing of some anime girl. She sure looks like she's enjoying the winter festivities. I really do like this art. I wonder what the artist used to get it in their mind's eye. Uh, huh. Well, I, I guess inspiration for anything can come from anywhere. Hi again, guys, and I lied. That's not new. That anime girl was not drawn by an artist. In fact, it wasn't drawn at all. It was made by a machine, a fraud, a computer, a fake person, an artificial intelligence. Using what it's learned by scraping the internet and looking at thousands and thousands of existing images like it, it scanned the original image it was given and tried to recreate it in a cutesy anime style. I'd say some stuff got lost in translation with this one. This whole AR art thing has been popping up more and more than the last few weeks, and people have been sharing the absolute slop they forced the AI to make with very mixed results. There are several AI image generators out there, but the one that's been used to make all the anime stuff is, um, not perfect. If you stick around, you'll agree with me very soon, I promise. If you enjoy this video, there will be this big card at the end that takes you to another one like it. And did you know only 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on? If you sub and hit that bell icon, you'll never miss an upload, and you can always do it later. Now, how funny these pictures are definitely depends on the order I show them to you. For instance, look at this picture of Nick Akato crying his eyes out while crying harassing his pregnant belly. When you feed it into the AI, you'd probably expect it to shit out something kind of close to it. Maybe it takes some inspiration from Fat Gum or some other big guy in an anime. Instead, it gave him more muscles than the human body even has. But then there's also the other way around. This is something an AI generated from a picture it was given. It made a hot anime boy of royalty sitting on his throne looking down at you with a smug grin. It's almost seductive. It's terrifying how crisply this came out. The design looks like it was handcrafted. If you didn't tell me it was made by an AI, I wouldn't know. It's so convincing that you would have never guessed the original picture was of Chris Chan in a hoarder pile. For Christ's sake, it even turned the Sonic fan character in the back into a Renaissance portrait. Still, even with how absurdly wrong it depicted Chris Chan, the power of artificial intelligence that the public now has access to has skyrocketed. Just a few months ago, we were freaking out over dolly images, and that thing made humans look like they had buttholes for eyes. This anime-styled AI has the opposite problem, where it makes everything too damn smooth. Like, it puts the same kind of face on a lot of things, including stuff that are not faces. Like, what on earth did it do to this cake. I, I would rather look at the grody, maggot-covered original than this uncanny AI one, but the question is, how long will this kind of stuff stay uncanny? I saw a TikTok of a dude generating US states as girls that popped off for him, and now his entire page is just him taking requests. He takes suggestions for what type of anime girl he should tell the AI to birth next. That program can literally create what gives people boners down to an individual level. Imagine if an AI was trained using every image on E621. It would create a new, never-heard-of-before insane fetish that gets people's rocks off like nothing before it. Vor, feet, poop, every old fetish would pale in comparison to this new computer-generated one. It was trained to be so perfect it might put traditional YIF artists out of a job. Speaking of, that might seem like a joke, but it's actually a concern a lot of artists have voiced. And I can absolutely understand why. It's frightening. <laughs> Dudes choosing to jack off to computer-generated images instead of handcrafted drawings is an odd example, I know. But it illustrates the point really well. The AI has gotten as good as it is right now by looking at art that real-life artists have made and replicating what it's sees there. And no surprise, it's had a lot of reference for NSFW images and the kind of thing dudes are jerking the gherkin to. So it has decent output when you give it, like, sexualized features to generate. Some folks have argued that using someone's art to train an AI without permission is theft and unethical. Others have claimed that an AI has literally copied parts of their original work to use in a generated image. An AI that's able to replicate an art style so well that it looks indistinguishable from the original works is a real possibility. Some folks think it could take the original artist out of business, since you could just pop something out in their style much more easily with an AI for free. It could literally price them out of the market by being completely automated. For example, the AI we've been using tries to replicate an anime style, duh, and it's decent at it. But it also has some major flaws because what's being used to train it doesn't have a whole lot of examples of what some things are supposed to look like. It kind of tries to apply a one-size-fits-all method to every image it gets fed. This fella may or may not be an attractive main character from some show I have definitely not watched. He sure looks the part, but it turned out to be the Unabomber. <laughs> you probably wouldn't have known because this is the same face it gives to every digital dude it mashes together. The holes in its ability really start to poke through when it comes to certain aspects. By using the same face all the time, there are some things the AI is just straight up not good at. I think it's improved since this thing first got on a lot of people's radars, but when people were first messing around with the AI, it could not fathom what a black person was. If the AI thought the person you gave it a picture of was too dark, it would just turn them white. That was really bad. And somehow, it wasn't the worst one. How in the fuck did it come up with this? How do you screw the pooch that bad? 
badly. It's unbelievable that that's what it came up with, but you can't make this shit up. That is to say, sure, some of these AI are capable of real eye-grabbing stuff and are progressing fast, but as it stands, it's not perfect, and that progress may come at the cost of real people's livelihoods. It's hard to know, because right now, we're in the wild west of this stuff. Even with how bad those last posts were, sometimes images put in the program raises more eyebrows about the person submitting it than whatever the AI comes up with. Some five head decided it would be a great idea to put this family photo into the machine and see what came out, and it turned the dad into a fucking suitcase. The AI is stupid and dumb. We've established that by now. It has only just learned what arms and legs are, and it probably has no idea you can actually lose them. So the only thing I'm still trying to figure out is what on earth the dude who submitted it was trying to get out of it. When they first shared this blunder in the group chat, how did they explain themselves? Did they just take the easy way out and lie, say they found it on Reddit even though they were probably the person who put it on Reddit? Also, I don't know what it is with these AI softwares in a certain American national tragedy, but they seem to be real good at forgetting the tragedy part. The Dolly AI made the thumbnail for my last video, and the anime AI turned a picture of the towers getting hit into another anime man. I'm not showing you the original image, but those roses are where the explosion was, good fucking lord. And you probably noticed by now, but one thing the anime AI is prone to doing is taking relatively tame pictures and making them like 200% hornier. In this image, you have what I can only assume are a bunch of British people holding up their old geezer in a pool floaty, a real having fun with the boys moment, but the AI takes that and turns it into a different kind of fun with the boys moment. Every person who was holding the floaty has now become a chiseled, stone-faced, black-haired heartthrob, and they made the old guy into a fucking twink. I can't show you his lower half because they turned the guy's beer gut into bare ass. One thing the ass had in common with the gut was they made sure it stayed fat as fuck. Like, good lord, those cheeks. You wish you were seeing them right now. In another one of these, you've got this fella kitted out with a sick outfit and a rifle, so the AI thought, oh yeah, this is definitely a bad bitch. And it also whitewashed the dude again. They really fucking suck at that part. I'm not even sure which part of the anime girl used to be the gun. Like, did it morph into a spine? If so, that's a hell of an arched back. That is not someone trying to be seductive. That woman has scoliosis. And somehow, despite being completely PG, this next one is the most erotic. Have you seen the meme of the guy soy-facing over a freestanding banana like he's about to deep throat the thing? Visually, it's like the banana is looking down on him and in complete control, like a super dom and the soy-facer is super whip. But in the AI's version, the dynamic is completely reversed. It's my favorite kind of fanfiction. The soy guy is now a suave, stoic dude looking down at the banana, and the banana's arched its back more. It's bowing down to the former soy facer. It's like a complete role reversal. Does the banana have to deep throat the guy now? Someone put Peter Griffin through the digital meat grinder to see how many pieces he came out the other side in, and somehow he got more compact. They mushed him down to his core characteristics, being a guy with a family. Also, an open letter to anyone who says I sound like Peter Griffin, I don't. We are two legally distinct people, and when I laugh, it does not sound like Peter Griffin's laugh. So y'all better knock it off in the comments saying I sound like him, or I'm gonna be really mad. There's this one picture of a guy living in what I'm not even sure I can call squalor. It's more like the universe wanted someone to fuck with randomly and pick this dude, so it made a swimming pool out of his kitchen. Thankfully, the computer tried its best to see the bright side of the whole situation. Now the old man is a child, so he might not die of a heart attack as soon, and now the brown sewer water doesn't look radioactive. It's just normal sewer water now, where the poo is the worst thing you'll find in it. One picture that tickled my fancy was the deer on the bridge meme that's just captioned as man. The caption really fits because that deer is standing on two legs and has no feathers, making it a man by definition. But the AI slowly erases the deer in every other part of the original image, except for the big impact font. It's so dumb, because they leave the big man caption when they got rid of the literal man. There have been multiple takes on William Afton, the character, not to be confused with the real person, Springtrap, who is my boyfriend and completely separate from Mr. Afton, but with the Five Nights at Freddy's movie actually in production for realsies, there are plenty of fan casts for who folks want to play these iconic characters, and I really can't disagree with Willem Dafoe as a child murderer. The guy on the right, however, looks like he's at the end of his shift and you've walked in ten minutes before closing time and he's taking your order while trying to kill you with his brain. I have no idea where this one came from, all I have is the result, but apparently somebody put quite in Springtrap together as a prompt and it spit out this nightmare. If that's what our kids are gonna look like, we may just have to adopt. Some folks out there had no cool pictures of their own, so they took this as an opportunity to put a spin on some all-time internet classics. Meaning they put the oldest, moldiest, most fungus-ridden memes from the last decade through the program to see if it could breathe new life into them. Let's start off strong with one that completely fucking failed, uh, Squidward. They absolutely butchered my man. It would be more humane to use his body to make calamari than put him through that shit again. He looks like a defective bowling pin. He's like a hammer that's been rounded off at both hands, so it's not good for shit anymore. I'm just surprised it didn't do anything with Squidward's butthole mouth in the original image. That seems like the exact type of thing this AI would want to make worse. Now, one that did hit the mark for me was Loss. It maintains the format perfectly and everybody's in their correct position, and the fella on the gertie isn't even in pain anymore. I kind of wish they still were 
were and that this hadn't worked and that this whole thing stayed dead though. This may be the most decayed, mutilated, most horrendously defiled image of the Germa sus face I've ever seen. I only just stopped having nightmares about the old version and now it's gonna come back. At least that's what I thought until the computer made me come to my senses by turning Germa into a cute anime girl. Now that I know how cute he looks under all that peeling flesh and gore, how could I still be scared of him? Turns out you gotta peep the horror to get to the hose. The Chad vs. Wojak revamp is a real middle of the road result. It shows what the AI is currently good at and where its holes are most visible in the same image. The Chad looks like a spot on rendition of the original meme with the facial hair. The only problem is the added glasses, but it's better than the raging Soyjack, who looks like Iron Man got his beard stuck in his faceplate. I think this image of the rock is fine on a technical level, but it completely ruins the point of the original. The eyebrow raise is like the rock's entire personality. That is his defining trait. That's all he's got. And this AI just made some bald dude with neutral ass eyebrows. The program completely sucked the soul out of the picture, and in that lies a major part of what I think AI still fails to achieve in the face of traditional creative expression. Anyways, that's all I got. As interesting as this technology is, the idea that it could outpace people's ability to work and take their place, leaving artists behind to struggle against something that they can't feasibly compete with is a really sobering thought. Kinda makes you wonder if that's where all labor is headed. Machines are stealing your jobs. That card I mentioned should be on screen now. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Don't go after anyone I talked about today because that's cringe, and this mid was meant and good fun. Anyways, this has been quite, and I a.